<laughs> what are we building today? Wood sled. All right. So Daddy, we're gonna take forever. These are the materials uh, you're gonna need. Um, a seat. This is uh, roughly um, three three fourths inch plywood, uh, eight by twelve, about seven and a half by twelve. Some two by fours. That's uh, twenty. This one's twenty nine inches long. Then two of them that are 24 inches long, and then four of them that are 18 inches long. These are gonna be the runners that it glides over. These two are gonna be don't the cross at, members. Don't, don't you yell at me. What are you doing? No, you're not, no, you're not gonna pee in here. <laughs> you're not peeing in the garage. Get those basketballs inside, go pee in the bathroom. Freaking savage. Um, anyway, and, and a rope. Um, some three inch screws. I'm gonna use some drywall screws, why not? And um, and these ones are shoot uh, one and five eighths drywall screws. <clears throat> and then this is a uh, carriage bolt. That's uh, all right. So step one is to uh, cut thirty degree um, yeah angle on the front of these runners somewhere about so that. And so let's get that done. All right, we got this thirty degrees right here. Go ahead and cut two at a time. All right, so miscalculation here. Yeah, I realize that's not nearly uh, enough of an angle. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and max it out to 50. Let's cut the PVC, four different pieces, uh, two feet long each. Put this on there, lift this down. That's roughly where you want it. This is about, about seven inches for me. I have it marked at seven inches right here because that's where it's gonna bend up this way. I'm just gonna bend this back that way. Give me a little bit of heat gun. The wife took my heat gun to her work and so Note, when you're bending these PVC, I bent it back 40, past 45 all the way to about 90 degrees, roughly here, and it snapped. So don't do that. This is just for a fun, little sled so there, there's no use wasting your time to <clears throat> make it exact just, just drill, get, drill it in there and get it done Perfect. that'll do pig that'll do I'm not gonna pre-drill any of this. I'm just gonna go ahead. And let's go for it. <laughs> Maybe I should have pre-drilled. I think I'm gonna pre-drill the rest of them. Best time. carriage bolt through there, one washer on the bottom, one washer separating the two boards, and then one, one washer on the top. Washer on the top? I don't think I'm gonna do a washer on the top. That's like the point of a carriage bolt. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and so I uh, got this longer one. Of course, that'll be long. 
get you fitted for this, buddy. Alright, so go ahead and sit down on it. a good little test because his legs aren't long enough to span this gap that's 29 inches so I'm gonna shorten it to like 25 or so inches this way like right about there he'll be able to control it better with both his hands and his feet all right check it out it's ready for you I'm not gonna go tonight but let's see if it fits go ahead it's not gonna go anywhere Fit pretty good? Yep. Good. A few changes I'd make next time I do this to make it longer. That way it'll stay straight better. Um, second, put the seat as much as in the center as possible. That way the weight of whoever's riding is evenly distributed in the front and the back. Right now it kind of bogs down like this. In the back end it kind of slows it down. Also, um, make the, the bottom PVC pieces as long as possible. That way you have a, a lot of contact on the snow to keep it up above the snow. Uh, and also, I didn't mention it, but uh, make sure you use a lock washer on the bottom of that so it stays on. It has a tendency to twist off if you don't have that. Also recommend using uh, well, it's, uh, two by threes instead of two by fours. It's kind of heavy. Or if you use some other type of material to keep it lighter. Kind of heavy pulling it up and down a hill for, for kids. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, found this helpful. And um, go out and build one. It's not too hard. See you later.